Oh, it's raining. Go ahead, KGPL. 11K, we see the man. A 207 just occurred on the spillway north of the First Street Bridge. DA's investigator Jack Kelso reports a kidnapping suspect outstanding in the LA River Tunnel system with a hostage. 11K, and a 3. The hell is Jack playing at? It's like a suicide note. Half the LAPD will be down there hunting for him. We might get them first. All units on all frequencies stand by. Car 86 Adam what the fuck is in pursuit of suspect vehicle heading southwest on Sunset Boulevard. Suspect vehicle belonging to Jack Kelso, described as a Navy Chevrolet fleet mine. License number 4, William 0286. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit. They picked up his car. I'll need help to make it to the river. I'm gonna shoot at my own people? All units, Chief Moro reports that the suspect is armed and extremely dangerous. Repeat, extremely dangerous. Suspect vehicle to be disabled immediately. If necessary, use of deadly force is authorized. These guys own. A lot. All units, all units. We have a new suspect vehicle. Shop number 13516. Repeating. Shop 13516 is a Art. second suspect vehicle. Described as a green Hudson Commodore. License 3 Sam 0102. Reported to be aiding suspect Jack Kelso. Fuck property. I don't give a fuck about property. Oh, that didn't work out. Or did it? You got it. Uh, I'm stop that. Oh, this car sucks. Fuck your tire. Oh shit, this car's fucked up. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Fucked up Herschel's car though, I kinda feel bad now. Oh yeah! First time. Who is this guy? Peterson, assistant DA. What's he doing? He's here, here to cover our backs. I'm going in there, Jack. No one's trying to stop you. I found this at the ranch house. He's marked his routes. I'll go in here. Cole, you take the next entrance. Biggs, I need you to take the car and cover the spot here. I think that's his fail safe exit. Cole, he's one of ours. What are you talking about? Right where you are! Got it, got it. Peterson, you want to be DA? We'll earn your salt. So, Kelso is your boy, Peterson? And working with Phelps? A handy lad, that Kelso. Yes, he is, Chief. You can't imagine what those two have uncovered. It could go all the way that to the top. sounds really bad. I hope you won't be implicated. So, you're the new groom, Peterson? Looks like it. And you think he'll make it out of there alive? I think he might. He's a difficult boy to get rid of. All right, Peterson. I'm listening. What's your offer?
Dick shot. Bitch just got shot in the dick like a million times. Okay. I want this gun anymore. Give me this gun. Oh yeah, bitches. I'm ready now. Stay for a second. Call of Duty Health. Okay. I don't want to go that way. Maybe I do. Body float. That's a nice mechanic. Makes them all pretty. You want to play, bitch? Running low. We're never running low. Don't worry about that. Oh. They reload. Back and get a bullet in a second here. Boosh, bitch! Alright. I don't like going in though. There we go. Another clip for sexy. Because I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah! Shooting these 1940 packs. I just had a member, I don't know if you anyone remembers, there was a guy that in the flashbacks we made going to the cave by himself, we called him a cowboy. I wonder if this is the guy. I don't know if I was supposed to get that beforehand, but now I do. <laughs> There's a guy we told the flamethrower to go in and he went in like by himself, fat, shit, crazy, and balls to the wall. This shot my hat off. What? I picked my hat up though. You can walk out of here and go out in a box. Your choice. Alright. We got this. We got this. I don't bet uh, he's around here somewhere. Let's 
Oh shit. The water's right. You can walk back here. What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Call ladder on the other side. Right up there. Right up there. Come on. I'm gonna go around this thing. Let's make it so I can walk easier. Come on. You can do this. I hate doing repeats. I hate repeating sections. Come on. Yeah. Fuck your knee. How I feel about your knee all weekend. I'll come back here. We're going up. Okay, come on. Fuck me, wait. Um, come on, get down. Kelso, Kelso, Kelso. Jesus Christ, you would not get behind that thing. There we go. A man never leaves his hat behind. Okay. Not this way. Fuck am I going? here at all. I'm going down that way. Herp derp. Are you okay, princess? I felt better. He saved me from the doctor. Hi, Tex. Do you remember me? I'm not sure that I do. Have you come here to kill her? Why would I do that, soldier? Isn't that why you're all here? I'm here to get her out. But not me. You haven't come for me. No, not you. It ends here. You were with the sixth on Sugarloaf, weren't you? I was. The and the ha? Yes, I was. You're Sergeant Jack Kelso, aren't you? Where's your uniform, Sarge? At home in my locker, Hogaboom. War's over, soldier. I know that, Sarge. I'm fighting a different kind of war. I fight for God now. We all fight for God, Ira. In our own ways. Not everyone knows it. Elsa! Are you alright? Get away from her! It's alright, Cole. He doesn't want to hurt her. Ira was with us on Okinawa. What? You know this guy? Don't you remember me, Lieutenant? I remember you. No. Don't. You ordered me to burn that cave, Lieutenant. That cave full of civilians. A hospital. What is he talking about? It was war. For God's sake, I can't be held responsible for everything that happened. I don't blame you, Lieutenant. You helped me to help other people. I Fuck. lost his mind on Okinawa, Princess. Sheldon asked the doctor to help him get back. The doctor helped me to find my path. And I helped him to a better life. Okay. Elsa's going to leave now, Ira. She will be all right. You've helped her, too. Get her out of here. Vix will help. His ex is nearby. Jack, I need this guy to make the case. Hasn't this poor bastard given you enough? Get out of here now! For God's sake, Jack! What are you going to do? Don't cry, miss. Sergeant Kelso has come to help ease my way. I was proud to serve with you, Jack. Get out of here, Cole! Hi, Katie. What's going on? I like your hair that way, Phelps. It's all wet, though. Where's your hat? Damn. <coughs> what do we do, Lieutenant? Jesus, look at all the Stop kids! Stop the goddamn screaming! I need to think! And how do you...
expect to do that, you fucking maniac? They're burned to a crisp. Finish them off. Do it humanely. We are leaving this place. You do it, Phelps. Get your own fucking hands dirty. I'm on a morphine. Put these people out of their pain. Now, that's an order. Damn. Everyone out of here now. Double time! You two get Lieutenant Belt to an aid station. Weapon team will be blowing this place in two minutes. Everything that happened in here stays in here. Do you hear me? I don't want to ever hear another word about it. Damn. Okay. He killed that man. He was doing him a favor, Elsa. Cole, up here. I'll get this great hurry, hurry. The water is rising. You're first. Hand her up. Get out of here. You're not here. I'm not arguing. You're wounded, Jack. Let me help. What are you waiting for? Jump, Cole. Jump for it. I... He's fucking dead. What the fuck? What the fuck? We're gathered here to honor Detective Cole Phelps. What? Cole Phelps was the best kind of man. And he's given the eulogy? A war hero who led his men with true valor. And through his personal bravery mm. achieved one of his country's highest honors. A cop wrongly accused who never lost his faith in the LAPD and the system. Fine. You belittle his memory. Fuck yeah, Elsa. Out of my way, Jack. You call yourself his friend. A detective who fought to expose the evil corruption of the murderous Dr. Fontaine and the rapacious property tycoon Leland Monroe. Go to her. Will you, Herschel? A reformer who You're recognized the need Jack. to remove the odd bad apple from a department right. made up of good men. Herschel? A man who never gave up. Yeah, Jack. Who continued to fight enemy. the good fight. I think you knew that, Jack. The fight that cost him his own life. Wow. A good husband. A Fuck good him. father. Yeah, he made a deal so the cops got off free. And may I say, a good friend. Fuck you. Oh my god. <sighs> That's so fucking aggravating. Oh my god. That's it. Holy shit. That's it? That's the ending? Oh! I have feelings right now. I always the things I love. I some folk would die for the sake of another. Lay down their lives for their sister. 
No, Tyler. I'm guessing there's something after the cinematics. Or the, not the cinematics, the fucking credits. Of course I'm gonna let the credits roll. I want to see if there is anything afterwards, because you know that's fucking infamous for that happening. Go take a walk. Can you can you skip through the credits at all? I'm always scared to press something to skip it. Yeah, really, it's a fucking Marvel movie. Everything has post credits now. Press co post credit scenes. Ugh. Oh, and it's singing an I Love You song. That's sad. Uh. <laughs> all you see is Cole Phelps with all his partners eating shawarma. And in a, in a burnt down building. That's all you see. <laughs> That's how it fucking ends. <laughs> it's like, what? 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 Oh, man. That was a, that was a good game. Some parts, well, I'm going to give a review because the story's not over yet. So I'm going to give, like, my feelings about um, Look at that. They even have IT people. That's nice. I'm going to go partners first, of course. Partners first. I think my favorite partner is Bukowski. First partner you get right off the bat. Then I'm going to say Herschel. Then I'll say Rusty. But they are really high compared, of course, to the last one, which you know should always be the fucking bottom, which is Roy. Roy's fucking awful. But I like Bukowski. Bukowski was the shit. Um, I enjoyed my time. Beat Cop, of course, because it was quick. Traffic Cop was pretty good because you're getting into the game. Um, Burger was just okay. Homicide should have been, like, it felt really f fillerish. Like, Traffic taught you how to play the game. And then homicide just kind of expanded on it because you should have a homicide department in a detective case. But uh, Vice was good. Vice finally felt like we got into like a story, and then arson continued on with said story. I didn't, I didn't dislike a single arson case. So Vice and arson. First of all, Vice, I was like, ugh, I don't like this guy because I saw him in a scene before my partner, and I didn't like him. And there's perfect reason we didn't like him. And then going on, going on. But yeah, fuck murder actually. Like, it was kind of cool. It was, like, its own mini thing, but it felt like filler. Like, it really... Bleh, who the hell cares? Who the hell cares? And, of course, you know, we capture the infamous Black Dahlia murderer, and it's it's kept hidden forever. Yay. Like. Fuck that. So, fuck murder. Fuck homicide. I liked everything else, though. It was good. The only thing I have complaints sometimes... Um... The lies and picking proper evidence was sometimes a pain in the ass. You could always tell when they were telling the truth, because it was just... Stone statue. They never moved. Eyes didn't move. If they, like, jittered at all, they usually lied. Or doubt it. Doubt was usually pretty easy, because you could tell which evidence you didn't have most of the time. But lying was sometimes a little bit of annoyance, just picking the proper evidence. That could have just been me, though. That could just be me. But story-wise... I definitely, I definitely got into it. Like, I didn't get into it really till Vice, though. I will honestly say, like, I was like, okay, you're this person. It didn't really get into the shit. It took a long time to get started. From Vice on, it was really good. I like, like, I liked Arson. I liked Vice. And, and I like before Homicide was really Homicide. Just felt like filler to really make the game a lot longer. That, that's, that's my feelings. I'm gonna wait till. Yeah, uh, God. Wish I could knew if I could press a button and not skip the end scene. But I enjoyed it for the most part. Oh, you know what? Fuck. I'm just going to say I'll, I'll, I'll do like a rating thing for shits and giggles. One to five, because I think it's good. One is shit, two is poor, three average, four is better than average, and five is fucking perfect. It's between a three and a four for me, and I hate doing point fives. But it's between a three and a four. It's not perfect. And this game is quite a few years old because there has been, you know, more updated games, and I'm a little bit of a graphics core. Even though there was some good, nice things to it. But I didn't do any of the side stuff. I think the side stuff would have been tedious and annoying, even though apparently that's how you got more intuition points. But um, I'm gonna lean more towards. If they got rid of homicide, it's a dead four. I will say that straight up. 
Homicide is what brings it down. I'm gonna give it a three. Three cakes out of five. That's those. Uh, that's my feelings. That's my feelings. Three cakes out of five. Got rid of homicide. It's an easy four. Easy four. Homicide threw things off. Rusty is an okay guy. But it got really, like, God, there were so many cases in a homicide. And it was like the same thing over and over. Oh, man, this is a serial killer. Oh, man, this is a serial killer. And everyone's like, no, it's not, man. No, it's not, man. And then it's at the end. It fucking ended it. Like, Makes you want to punch a small child in the face, these assholes. They have a lot of female pedestrians. Holy shit! 23 female pedestrians. Only 18 male pedestrians. Jesus. Which is kind of hilarious. I saw a gift the other day that actually had the actor that plays Cole. Apparently he's in Mad Men. I don't know how big of a party he is, but it was Cole. It was definitely Cole. I could just see it. I was like, that's fucking cool. I looked it up, and it is the same actor. Never watched Mad Men, though. I'll also say I like this music. This music was good. It's definitely set the tone. I'm glad Elsa's dead. That was kind of a bullshit way, though. Like, well, apparently there's an end credit scene, so we'll fucking see. But that's a bullshit way to go out. Bullshit way to go out. Like, really? That's how we went out? That's how we went out? Even though it definitely did the whole, like, full circle thing. That guy was fucked up. You'd probably say he was fucked up from Cole. Because, you know, Cole told him to burn those caves down, and that wasn't a scene earlier. He's like, I don't care. We gotta burn those caves. And everyone's like, no, we gotta keep going forward. He's like, I'm a fucking officer. Go burn those caves. There's a whole tunnel system. We gotta stop it. And that dude just goes ball the wall. He could have checked a little bit, I guess. Like, oh man, you know, they're all just children and fucking people before I burned them. I don't know how to do it. Was I, you know, I can't judge. So Cole kind of made him care easy, probably. <laughs> yeah, these are all the copyright notices right here. <laughs> That old devil called love. Oh man, we gotta be close. 2011. God, is the Havoc engine that old? Damn. Damn. I feel old now, realizing the Havoc engine is that old. Oh man, we're almost there. Whenever you get to this part, you know, you're always you're almost there. Wow, I swear to God, there's like another seven. Oh, there were special thanks. Oh, they're thanking me. I'm their girlfriend. Well, come on. Come on. Oh. What's that? Just, I want to see someone shoot that Roy in the face. How about this for a headline? Guess which former Sixth Marine hero has been promoted in the LAPD? No idea. Well, it could be anybody. You give up? Tell us or hand over the fucking paper. The Shadow Boys, our very own Silver Star winning son of a bitch. Phelps, you didn't die, Jack. He did just fine, and that's all we're going to say about it, right? The one and only. Look at this picture. Golden boy getting his badge, wife and kids in tow, and looking awful humble in the process. Well, he's that phony bastard. I wonder if they've been holding my job for me after all this time. What job was that? Mechanic. Ain't you seen all the war bond movies, Sarge? All the best mechanics is women. You're gonna have to work as a gigolo from here on in. <laughs> I was a bus driver in Santa Cruz. He got there that. Were no pictures in the papers or medals for me, though. I can't believe I just went through Petaloo and Okinawa just to go back to being a washing machine mechanic. How is it that jerks like Phelps get it all? It doesn't have to be that way, guys. What are you talking about? It's always going to be that way. Do you have any idea what you guys are sitting on? Yeah, a ship full of army surplus. You're sitting shot him. on surplus I just realized that. morphine. Two tons of it. Can you imagine what that's worth on the streets? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're shitting me. I'm not. You're talking about stealing it? Keep your voice down. 
you want to have us all thrown in the brig? God damn it, Sheldon. You want to go into the dope business? No. I want to be in the peace dividend business. What is that supposed to mean? It means I want the guys who fought for a better future to get some share of it. You interested, Jack? Come on, Top. We could all get out from under. Oh, it's the chance of our lives. It's everyone or no one, boys. I'm not having a bar of it, Courtney. You may be the bravest person I have ever met, but I swear to God, trouble follows you around like a pet fucking dog. I thought you wanted to try for medical school. So what do you want, Jack? What's the future got in store for you? You guys were all heroes in the war. Every single one of you. Even if your next door neighbor or your wife never know it and don't give a rat's ass. Fuck belts and medals and citations and parades. Fuck the public who are bored with returning GIs. I have nothing but respect for what you guys and the rest of the six have done. Mm -hmm. You go through with this, and you'll be nothing to me. Damn, Jack. Damn. That's it. Damn. We are officially done, L.A. Noir. So basically, they stole drugs because Phelps, you know, became top notch. Who knows? They might have stolen it anyway. But it's because of Phelps. So it's like a giant, like I said, giant fucking circle. But that's the end of L.A. Noir. First game, at least. For me, actually, I think it's the first game done on stream completely. Actually, no, I think we did rain, Risk of Rain technically. First game, at least me solo. Done. Ellie Noir. Three out of five. Hot cakes. Hot delicious cakes. Huh. Yeah. That almost makes you like, oh man, Phelps did this to himself. But. It tries to make it seem like Jack is like the most amazing person in the world and then Cole's just like fucked up and he got what he kinda got at the end. Not that he did it on purpose, but... Ugh, but makes Courtney a piece of shit. Fuck Courtney. God damn. Good, good fucking game. Good game. Just mostly the second half. Like I said, it had its flaws, had its issues with some of the, in my opinion, evidence, like picking the right one. I'm trying to figure it all out. Homicide's bad, so. Three out of five, close to four, if no homicide. <laughs>